Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install the current Python version that is Python 3.10.4. With that, we will also install pip. Pip is used to install and manage Python packages. So we'll also run a sample Python program after installing Python. So let's begin. At first, go to the browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. On Google, type uh, Python. After pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible. Click on it. On clicking, we have reached the official website. After reaching the official website, just keep the mouse cursor on downloads. Whenever you will click here, the current Python version will be visible. And here it is, Python 3.10.4 for Windows. Click on it to download. The download started. You need to wait for a few seconds. It's only 27 MB. The download completed, guys. EXE file, double click on it to install. Minimize this. So guys, the installation setup started. Here in uh, at first, click on add Python 3.10 path. Rest keep as it is and click on customize installation. After clicking, it will show the optional features. Keep the default. Here in you can see it will install pip. I told you pip is used to install and manage Python packages. So it will also get installed. Here in it will also install IDLE. IDLE is an ID to run Python programs easily. So we'll also run a Python program later in this video. Rest keep as it is and click on next. Here in advanced option, let us let us click on install for all users. Here you can see Python will get installed under program files and it will automatically create a new directory. I'll show this later. If you want to change the location, click on browse, but the default is fine. Click on install. Now the setup started. So guys, the setup completed, click on close. Now here you can see, we installed under C drive, program files. Here it is, Python 3.10 directory. Here we installed it, if you remember. Now let us verify the installation, go to start, type cmd. Click on open to open the command prompt. Now let us type the command python space hyphen hyphen version to verify the installation. Press enter. Here you can see we successfully installed it. Now type the command pip space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. So we installed pip also. Now let us run our first program. Let us type pyr and press enter to enter the python shell. Here we entered. Print something quickly. Print. Let's say I'll print something. Okay, I'll press enter and it will show the output. Here it is. Now you can also use IDLE to run the Python program. Go to start, type IDLE. If you remember, we installed IDLE also. Click on open to open the IDLE. Here it is, guys. Let us print something in the same way. Okay, when I'll press enter, it will show the output. Here it is. Now you can go to file and save this in the form of uh, .py file. Save as. Go to desktop and uh, let me save it using the name Amit. It will automatically take the extension .py. Save. I have saved it. You can see the path is visible. You can see Amit.py got saved. Or if you want to open a new file, you can straight away click on new file and create your program and save as. Okay, after creating your program, let's say I just uh, did this and now I'll just click on run here, run module, source it, okay, I'll save it, desktop, a new file, let's say uh, Amit 2 and I'll save it, now it ran the program and it is showing demo here output, okay, in this way you can create multiple programs here. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily download and install the current uh, Python version. With that, we also installed pip and IDLE. We also saw how we can run our first Python program after that on Python shell as well as IDLE. So guys, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.